Hello friends and welcome to our new YouTube video. All of you that already hit the subscribe button we would like to thank you for your support and if you are new on this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let's start. The video we bring you today is about epic story filled with mythical creatures, politics, intrigue, noblemen. You guess it right, we are talking about the Game of Thrones. Despite stumbling in the final season, Game of Thrones is still a pop culture phenomenon. While some enjoy it for its violent fantasy setting, others are still drawn to the show for its political intrigue or to the dense world author George R. R. Martin has created, with prequel series House of the Dragon already in production, now is as good a time as any to dig a little into some behind-the-scenes trivia and maybe learn something about the show that started it all. While we are waiting for House of the Dragon release, allow us to tell you some of the most interesting facts that you probably didn't know about the Game of Thrones. We all remember that over the course of the show's run, the dire wolves of the Stark children have been just as unfortunate as the family they belonged to. Lady, the pup of Sansa had the unfortunate fate to be killed at the beginning of the series. But, fortunate for Lady, the actress who plays Sansa, Sophie Turner got to spend a lot more time with her in real life. Mrs. Turner adopted Zuni, the northern Inuit dog who played Lady in the series. And did you know that you could own full-grown ghost or lady? Okay. The actual dire wolves died about 10,000 years ago, you can get the close to original breed, the American Alsatian dog. But, that's not all. The dire wolf project has been successful in breeding a number of this wolf-like, 130-pound dogs. And yes, you can own one for the price of $3,000. What is interesting? These are not the same breed that have been used to represent the Stark children wolves in the series. If you want a dog that looks more like those that you see on the show, you should check out the Northern Inuit dog, a crossbreed that resembles the modern age grey wolf. Did you know that besides the medieval setting there is nothing in common between the games of Thrones and Monty Python and the Holy Grail? This is true but it didn't stop the show's writers from throwing in a few nods to the comedy classic. In the fourth season episode, Breaker of Chains, one warrior shouts various taunts at Daenerys in Low Valyrian. But, if you were expert in Low Valyrian and you translate the taunts you will be amazed. What the warrior was saying to Daenerys is the classic insults by Monty Python. Your mother was a hamster, and, I blow my nose at you. Oh and before we forget, part of the show's pilot was shot in one of the castles used for the film. Let's talk about the Iron Throne. Indeed it was a pretty imposing structure. Unfortunately, the series version of the Iron Throne is nothing compared to the one that George R. R. Martin originally envisioned. For the book, The World of Ice and Fire, the author George R. R. Martin crossed paths with the artist Mark Simonetti in order to make an illustration of the Iron Throne. It was big, and by big I mean ridiculously big. As Martin wrote on his blog, the Iron Throne is massive, and ugly, and asymmetric, it's a throne made by blacksmiths hammering together half-melted, broken, twisted swords, wrenched from the hands of dead men or yielded up by defeated foes. And there are thousands of swords in it, not just a few. But the show's version of the Iron Throne is, well, different, as Littlefinger declares that the idea of the throne being built up of 1,000 swords is a myth. And it is better that way. At least it is better for the people that worked at the prop department. Indeed, the film crew had done amazing job to bring Game of Thrones to life. There has been 13,250 VFX shots in the first seven seasons alone. This work was done by 40 different visual effects houses in 13 different countries. And by now, we are sure that you know that Game of Thrones was shot in Northern Ireland and Croatia. But, did you know that the series were also filmed in eight other countries? The United States and Canada, Scotland, Republic of Ireland, Malta, Morocco, Spain and Iceland. Many of these locations included real-life castles, which is why the sets on the show appear so realistic. Well, friends, this is all for this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and support our work. Until our next video goodbye and stay safe.